My cutting board is now ready to get a design cut in it with my CNC router. I have zeroed the router, so it has an axis starting point. And I'm gonna turn it on and run the program. It should only take about a minute to cut because I only went 0.1 for the outline and 0.05 for the windows and doors. And so I'm gonna cut half because my router only goes uh, 13 inches this way and my design is 18 inches. So I tiled it is what it's called, broke my design in two. So we're gonna show you the first half of the cut. So let me pull it off here and show you what it has. Okay. That is what it has done so far. This is what you come up with when you do the both sets of cuts, the tile one and tile two. The hard part is that interface. You can see right in the middle of the screen, there's a spot right there. I mean, I set a mark for where the new zero zero should be and I used the old zero zero and put that right on it. But it's got it's just, just a tad off, which is, you know, a pain. And you can see it down here also, so. Maybe with sanding, I can hide that even more. But that's the hard part, getting the two tiles lined back up. I have a house etched into my cutting board. Now what I want to try and do is actually cut the board a little bit to kind of get the shape of a house as the board itself. And I'm going to do that on my bandsaw. Here's what I realized that my bandsaw is not wide enough for me to do this, which means I need to do it on a jigsaw. That's all right, still freehanding. Here is my jigsaw and there's my cutting board. And we're going to show you just a little bit of me cutting out some of the house. You don't need to see everything. That's kind of boring. This is the finished product of cutting my cutting board. Now I need to sand it. Uh, maybe put a round edge on it. 
I think I'll leave it here and then oil it up. As we said, sanding the cutting board. So here's my disc sander. I've got 120 on there now, and then I'll pop up to like 180, 200, 220 um, to get a nice, really smooth. Back and front, both sides. And I'll start on the side of the nose line first. For the design part that I cut out for this routing that I did, I'm going to use a sponge sander to be a little more control, a little bit easier on it. We are sanded, and you can see I've got two cutting boards here that I've been working on because always different ideas. So I changed the depth. The depth of this is 0.15. The depth of this one is 0.1. We'll see what the neighbors say because I'm going to give these to neighbors and let them play with them. I'm going to put cutting board oil on two or three coats, you know, let it soak in, let it get really good, and then I will put some butcher block conditioner on. And that is what I will do with them. And again, one or two, you know, one or two coats of the conditioner, and that should be you know the end. And it's really just put the oil on and work it around and I have no problem doing this by hand I mean it's just oil it's 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 a mineral oil and it's got some vitamin uh, E or D in it for uh, stability so some people want to use gloves some people want to use uh, a rag and that's fine um, I always worry that the rags gonna take a whole bunch of the oil off and it does take some I'd rather just be on their thick so that's what I'm gonna do now set on racks let it suck in, do some more, set on the rack, let it do some more. That'll be then. I'll show you the final product later. Here we are after two coats of the conditioner. And zoom in a little bit on this, and that's what we're looking like. You see a nice sheen, nice coat, and that is what we have for our finished product. Time to give it to my guinea pigs, my neighbors, and get some feedback from them.